hydrostatistics uh, in this as the first topic we are going to dis discuss about pressure so if we look on to the word pressure pressure is the force acting in an unit area so it is clear when a, a certain amount of force acting in a certain surface area when we divide the total force by the total surface area the force acting in the, in the unit surface area will be the pressure that is the basic idea of the term pressure so usually we use newton meters minus 2 or pascals in order to measure pressure so newton meters minus 2 is the SI unit of the pressure when we apply this same theory to the liquid surface we can easily say the pressure is equal to force over area and the force is created due to the mass of the liquid so the mass of the liquid can be written as mg and the uh, surface area is a as before so we can write a equation relating to density and the mass over the volume as this so when we subject mass we will get density into volume is equal to mass so uh, when we substitute for this m in this equation we get a new equation as pressure is equal to density into volume of the liquid into gravitational force over the total surface area we all know the volume is the total surface area into height as before if we uh, divide the volume by the total surface area we will get the height so we will get the new equation as pressure into rho g pressure equal to rho g and h so further when we look on to this equation now it's clear that the density of a liquid is always constant and the gravitational force of uh, is also a constant so it is clear that the pressure of a liquid is always directly proportional to its height from the reference point when we apply this theory to these vessels which contains water uh, we can get a clear idea of how the pressure varies with the height if we see these three vessels we can clearly uh, uh, see that these three has different uh, sizes and different volumes and different surface areas too but the common thing of these three is the height of the liquid column so when we take a reference point like this and when we calculate the pressure at these three points we can clearly say, see that the pressure at these three points to be equal which states that the as before the pressure is only dependent on the height of a certain liquid I repeat it uh, the pressure is only dependent on the height of a certain liquid irrespective of the shape of the vessel or size of the vessel So the next topic we're going to discuss is about the density. So density is very simple. The density, the term density which defines the mass of a unit volume. It means uh, if an object or a liquid which has a total mass of uh, simple m, when it is divided by the total volume simple v, the unit which v gets is the density. We denote it in rho. So the unit of density, uh, the standard international unit of density is kilogram meters minus 3 which states the mass of a unit volume. So it's very simple. 
the next concept in density is the relative density if we look on to the topic relative density which is a comparative unit it means we compare the density of an object with the density of water at 1000 kilo, uh, at 4 degrees celsius which is 1000 kg meter minus 3 so basically both uh, we, we divide a density by another density so it has no units therefore it is a relative quantity which compares the density of an object with density of water at 4 degrees celsius so another small point to be remember when you come across a relative quantity it will never have will never has a unit the fourth topic which we going to discuss under this topic is hydrostatics is upthrust upthrust is nothing but the force which is created by the liquid itself in order to oppose an object which is immersed so if we look on to the definition buoyancy or the upthrust is an upward force exerted by a fluid that opposes the weight of a partially or fully immersed object so it is simple when we immerse an object into a liquid it will automatically create an opposite force to the weight of that object The fifth topic which we are going to discuss under this hydrostatistics topics is Archimedes principle. What Archimedes principle says is when we immerse an object into a liquid, so some amount of liquid will be displaced due to that. The mass of the liquid which is displaced due to the immersal of an object will be equal to the buoyant force which is acting on the object. So when we take this into an equation, we can say that if B, the force buoyant acting on the object is equal to the mass of the weight of the liquid which is displaced. So when we further develop this equation, we can easily get when we subject the mass of the liquid we will get it is equal to the rho of the liquid and the vol volume of the object so using this principle we can easily find the unknown volume of an object when we have a known liquid with the known density and the mass so that is what Archimedes says when we need to calculate the force acting on an object that will be equal to the weight of the liquid displaced due to that immersion. The first experiment which we are going to look under this topic is the YouTube experiment. So YouTube experiment is done to find the density of an unknown liquid. So let's look on to the steps how it is done. So first we have to arrange the setup like this and we have to uh, mark the reference points and we have to uh, fix a ruler or any other measure measuring instrument in order to take the highs of the liquid columns. First we have to do is first at the highly denser liquid and then at the lower denser liquid into one arm of the apparatus. This is because when we add the high lower denser liquid into the column first and if we add the higher denser liquid it may get split into both the arms. To prevent that only first we add the higher denser liquid and gradually we add the lower denser liquid into one side of this arm. After setting up this like this we can get the heights of the both liquid columns from our reference height so by changing the liquid level gradually we can take several sets of reading so using that we can photograph like this 
we can take the reference points like P1 and P2. The, the pressure at this reference level is P1 and the pressure at this point is P2. But we know the pressure at the same reference height will be equal. So the pressure at P1 is equal to rho 1 G H1 into A1 and the pressure at this point will be rho 2 g h2 a2 so when we get, as we all know these two are equal when we equate this we will get a simple simplified form of this equation as rho 2 g h2 is equal to rho 1 g h1 in with this what we have have as the changing factor will be the independent variable and what we're going to test will be the dependent variable so we have to make the dependent variable as this subject if we make so we will get an equation like this h2 is equal to rho 1 over rho 2 and into h1 using this equation we can photograph like this using the h1 as the independent variable and the h2 as the dependent variable in this graph we will get the gradient the gradient will be equal to rho 1 over rho 2 so using the gradient of this graph and the known density of the first liquid we can find the unknown density of the next liquid the major drawback of this experiment is we can't use this to find the density of the two miscible liquids. The next experiment which we are going to discuss about is the Hayes app uh, apparatus experiment. Hayes experiment is very much similar to YouTube experiment but the most advantageous of this one is we can use two miscible liquids since these two liquid columns are not in contact with them. So when we look on to this experiment first we have to set up this experiment like this as before we have to take two reference points and we have to set up some measuring instrument to measure the heights of two individual liquid columns when we arrange this setup like this and we have to open this part apart and suck some air and we have to close it tight in order to uh, make the pressure inside this liquid column cons uh, constant so when we set up like that we will get two different heights in the liquid column by closing opening and closing this clip we can adjust the heights of these liquid columns and take several sets of reading using those reading we can um, plot a graph as before so we can Similarly say that uh, the pressure at the point A is P1 and it is equal to rho 1 G H1 into A which is the surface area uh, uh, which is not much necessary because we take two identical pipes that's why uh, we don't consider much about the surface area of these two columns if the surface area of these two columns are not equal we have to take into consideration with that too so since these two are uh, equal we do this equation like this p1 is equal to rho 1 gh1 and p2 is equal to rho 2 gh2 as before we equate these two and make the h2 subject and uh, we will get an equation right rho 1 over rho 2 is equal to h into h1 is equal to h2 using this equation we will plot the graph h2 as the dependent variable and h1 as the independent variable when we draw this graph the gradient of the graph will give us this ratio rho 1 over rho 2 rho 1 will be the known uh, known density and the rho 2 will be the unknown density using the gradient and this equation we can find the unknown density of the liquid 
this is the same like the the experiment which we discussed before the only advantage we has is we can use two miscible liquids so because these two liquid columns are not in contact with each other